Um, my name is Jim Greer. I'm from Angel Computer Systems, and today we're going to work on replacing the RAM and the hard drive in this HP All-in-One computer. Um, we've laid down a little piece of cardboard here to protect the surface of the screen and the table that we're working on. So we're just going to go ahead and tip it forward and give us access to the back of the unit here. Um, it looks like this one has some screws that uh, we'll use to remove the back panel. There's two here, and I believe there's one hidden under this panel which just snaps on. So let's pop up this panel from the side here. And there is one more screw here that we'll need. So we'll set that aside. Um, they're all basic Phillips head number twos will be fine. So Phillips head screwdriver is a good start. We'll go ahead and remove all three of those screws. They have a mechanism which keeps them in the case so they don't get lost. So we'll just need to loosen them up for this case. And the back of the case hopefully will lift off. There we go. Exposing the internal components. This can be set aside for the time being. Yeah, well, what it does is it, 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 well, and on the computer here, our hard drive is enclosed in this little space. And the RAM is underneath this little protective cover here. Um, DVD drive and so forth is over here, uh, which we're not going to address right at this particular moment. Um, we'll go ahead and remove the old hard drive to start with. Um, it's held in by one Phillips head screw right here on the side. And all we have to do is loosen this connector. And the, this metal case enclosing the hard drive will now come apart. Let's see, we'll pull it out and up. We're basically disconnecting the plugs here on the side and exposing the hard drive itself. Now the hard drive is screwed inside of this little uh, metal enclosure so we will go ahead and unscrew the four screws that hold it in. Two on each side. And then basically all we'll do is slide the replacement in and repeat the process backwards. So we have all four of the screws removed, and now the hard drive is free to just slide right out, keeping the same orientation. We'll take the new replacement drive and slide it back in the casing the same way, making sure to replace the screws on the side to keep it intact. This is a reasonably simple, straightforward You're process. <laughs> All I it's got kind of a plug and play uh, type punch. thing. <laughs> We're just replacing the new yeah, hard drive in the enclosure. Okay. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. And now, basically, the same procedure backwards to slide into the place. We need to make sure these connectors are compatible. And this one basically you just lay it down and slide it forward. Famous last words. Make sure I get it matched up. And there we are. Slides back in. Make sure the connections are tight. And then you'll just re-tighten the screw. And that puts the whole case tightly in place. The new hard drive is now in place. And the RAM over here is hidden under this metal protective cover. So let's see here, we will pop that off. And there's two chips in this particular model. Uh, one on top, one underneath. Of course, the top one will come off first. There's two little metal clips here and they just pull out to the sides, pull directly this way, and the RAM will pop up, just like so. So we will just pull it out. It only goes in there one way. We'll do the same procedure on the lower one. It just, as soon as you take the clips out, the spring pushes it up. And replacement RAM. Just repeat the process backwards. The lower one, of course, goes in first. Make sure it's pushed all the way back and then simply push it down until the sides click back on. And same way for that one there. Then we'll just replace the metal cover. 
Well, okay, there's only, there's possibly a model. And let's see. That seems to be a, a simple way to replace the uh, ramp, either upgrade in size or capacity, or replacing a stick that's bad. And the procedure for reassembly is essentially just the same one backwards. Um, we will take the plastic case and place it back on. It fits. The top notch goes in first. And just pops back down into place. Perhaps. Oops, missed the front side. Let's try it again. There we are. And we'll just tighten the three screws back down. And the cover goes on lastly, slips in on the left side, and snaps back into place, making sure it's all flush. And now we are back in business with our HP TouchSmart 520 all-in-one PC, simple hard drive and RAM replacement.